Hello and very welcome to our channel. And in this module, we wish to report to you about the world's fastest transistor. So this report is based on the news available on the internet. So we want to talk about that. So the world's fastest transistor, which is the silicon-based transistor, is reported to have reached a maximum frequency of operation that is 800 gigahertz. However, this report is claimed to have reached at a much lower temperature. And as we know, we want to operate the devices and the circuits and the system at the room temperature. So we want to understand what is the maximum speed of the switching of the transistor at room temperature as well. So as we can see that this is a discrete power MOSFET. Here is the schematic of the transistor, which is the metal oxide semiconductor device. It has got three pits, such as drain, gate, and the source. And there is a fourth terminal, which is the substrate or the body of the device. This is a schematic of an N-channel device. So the previous maximum frequency of operation that has been reported is the 200 gigahertz at the room temperature and research is on to breaking the terahertz barrier. It means we want to switch from gigahertz regime to the terahertz regime. So that's why it is said that the 800 gigahertz has been maximum reported. So there are other materials also to develop the body of the transistor, which are called as gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, and gallium nitride, they are all the semiconductor materials. So using those materials, it is also said that it is possible to achieve a maximum switching frequency for the transistor operation. So the current speed of 800 gigahertz that I just mentioned has been achieved with the silicon germanium technology which is also a semiconductor device. And this technology and this material has been used because it is proven by the semiconductor industry over and over again. The material is cheap, it is easy to process and easy to manufacture. So the at 130 nanometer, which is the gate length, let me tell you what is the 130 nanometer. Right here, we see the schematic and the distance between the source and the drain or the length of the gate deposited is called as channel length that is 130 nanometer so lower the gate length it is possible to switch and travel the carrier from source to the drain much faster okay longer the gate length it will take longer time for the channel channel carrier whether electrons or holes to travel from source to the drain and that's how we are saying here that at 130 nanometer, the circuit was constructed. The device is made of silicon germanium technology and the circuit made of that technology was able to function at 4.3 Kelvin and at the supply voltage of 1.7 volts. So you can convert Kelvin to degree Celsius. You can just uh, use Google to convert 0.3 Kelvin equals to how many degrees centigrade. So here you see that the final integrated circuit product, inside this integrated circuit, you have this silicon die in which you have to pack millions and billions of transistors. And now there is also a report of world's most number of transistor per unit area in a silicon chip. So this limit has been reached in trillions. It means there are trillions of transistors that can be now packed in a given silicon area. Here, the transistor, which are discrete transistors, there are BJTs, bipolar junction transistor, they are FET field effect transistors, or JPEG, junction field effect transistors, or they are also a MOSFET, metal oxide field, field effect transistor. So here is the schematic representation or 3D representation of MOSFET. You got the source pin, you got the drain pin, you got the gate pin, and here is the body pin. On the body, which is P-type or N-type semiconductor material, you got these contacts right here. 
and on the top of the contacts you deposit the oxide by the photolithography method and then you again deposit the polysilicon gain. So this is how the silicon germanium technology also that can be used to develop such and construct and fabricate such devices. So the demonstration at the room temperature at a speed of 417 gigahertz, which is still much faster than most industry ordinary transistor has been reported, okay? So now there is one more research results that the researchers at the MIT and the Texas Instrument, they have demonstrated a transistor which is a silicon-based transistor and its operating frequency of 1.2 terahertz, much, much faster even than the silicon germanium technology that we just described. So how they do it and how did they do it? So here you can see the schematic representation of silicon lattice, that is the technology. So people and the researchers and at MIT and Texas have demonstrated such achievement of 1.2 terahertz for the silicon-based transistor. They have managed to demonstrate this research by using a strange silicon technology to achieve the highest speed. Now, what is strange silicon technology? It means you got this silicon lattice, you have to stretch this silicon lattice so that the electron mobility can be increased or enhanced. When you have enhanced electron mobility within the lattice of the silicon structure, you tend to have faster switching speed when you use those materials to build a transistor and you use those transistor to build the switching circuits. Now, what's the application of having fastest transistor? Where do we use those transistors and hence the circuits and hence the systems? Applications are high data rate wireless and wired communication, signal processing, imaging, sensing, and radar application. So stay tuned for more information content like this. Till then, wish you happy learning. If you like this video, do share it with others for a wider reach and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more engaging content like this. See you soon with more powerful content like this.